Hello, beautiful people. I hope you can hear me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Facebook. I have seen so many YouTubers bent hell out of shape because Harry's uh, is going to be exposed. That's revenge porn. Oh my God. If Harry had access to those kind of pictures about Prince William and Catherine, he would be the first one putting them out there. Because this man has gone on a world stage rampage, trashing his brother and sister-in-law specifically, lying, talking about more than private details. How come nobody, do you guys remember that lady who actually had to come out because he talked about mounting somebody behind a, bar, a pub? Why wasn't, wh where was the outrage of all these YouTubers and news? For once, I'm happy Harry's getting what he asked for. You know, you, you, get, you get what you put out twice folding. It's like a boomerang. So let's explore this because they've had 12 years to get those pictures and they haven't. And this lady's about to sell them and put them in. I'm all down for it. So please, let's get into this video. Now, those of you who've been with me, you will recognize this spot. You see that boat over there? That's the boat I used to take coming from Nesodn, which is where I lived, into Oslo. This is downtown Oslo. That city hall over there. This is Akebrygge. I don't think I brought you guys here. That's the Norwegian Opera House. That's the new Monk Museum. See? That's where I'm gonna go and I'm gonna walk there and I'm gonna take a video from there. This is the other side of the Oslo house. I'm gonna walk up there. You can go all the way up there. Isn't it cool guys? See? I don't know if you can see it. The sun is against us. So here I am at the top of the opera house. Hi gorgeous beautiful people. I hope you can hear me. Let me see if you can hear me better like this. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. But I've been showing you around Oslo and stuff, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go later to that um, uh, Monk Museum, and I'm going to take you to the castle here, the castle at the, in Oslo. But yes, everybody's hell bent out of shape. All the YouTubers, oh my God, that's revenge porn. As I said in the introduction, if Harry had pictures of William and Catherine, he'd be the first one showing them to everybody. He would have no compunctions about selling them to, to people, to anybody, just to humiliate them both. So, so what? That we're going to get to see his little ginger wiener. They've had 12 years to get these pictures. So either Buckingham Palace didn't believe this lady had them, or they just thought, they can't be that bad, right? I have it on good authority that the lady reached out to Harry and Meghan to sell, to give them the option to buy them. And uh, they didn't tell her not to, not to, as far as she's aware, they didn't tell her not to, not publish them. And yeah, they didn't buy them. Why not? I would buy them. God knows that they're such a private, private people. We saw Harry jerking around, jumping around like the idiot he is in Vegas. And again, Buckingham Palace, he's used to Buckingham Palace always coming out there and, and uh, cleaning up his ass for everything he's done. I am glad this lady's going to expose his ginger wonker torture. Winnie, Winnie. I don't have a problem with that. It's karma, baby. He's knocked on karma's door so many times that karma is finally answering back and I'm all here to watch it. I'm not going to condemn this lady. She's hustling. Harry and Meghan have made tons of money out of abusing, misusing, defaming the royal family and an entire nation. And you think I'm going to be upset because this uh, exotic dancer or party dancer lady is going to show some pictures of Harry's wiener? Uh-uh, not this lady. I'm here to watch. I'm, I don't want to see his peanuts. Ooh, no, no, no. That's not, no. Ugh. But yeah, it's time for karma to hit back on his door because clearly his father's not going to do anything. I had to type my hair back because it was driving me crazy. But no, I am not going to be one of those phony uh, things. I'm not going to pretend that phony outrage that Harry, oh my God, oh my God, we're going to see his wiener. 
So what? As I said, he's been banking at Karma's door for a way long time. It's amazing now, you know, he's got so many issues um, with the, I'm going to do a video about his uh, book deal because it's falling apart. But why why the outrage? Can somebody please tell me, maybe you'll disagree with me. Fine. You think you should think, oh my God, that shouldn't happen. But they've had 12 years to buy those pictures. And the woman gave them the right of refusal. She did offer those pictures to them and they arrogantly turned it down. So what? You know, now these days you can't really prevent anybody from showing anything they want. They always have a way of leaking those that info. Oh my God, somebody stole my pictures. Wink, wink. Megan is an expert at doing that, leaking all those pictures with the paps. The same thing with Harry. Oh my God. Talking about his todger, putting ointment there or whatever the hell it was that he put on. It's just gross. It's just not done. So that the stripper is exposing his pictures and OnlyFans page. Oh my God, I'm all in here for that, guys. I'm all in here for that. He has robbed himself of privacy by violating other people's privacy. Once you open that can of worms, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. You know, you can't unring that bell. He has left himself open for ridicule through his lies and through defaming others. He has had no respect for anybody, for Catherine, Princess Catherine's privacy, nor his brothers, not even his brothers, his nephews and niece. So you're asking me that I'm going to feel bad for him? Uh-uh, not this girl, not this lady. He's getting what he's asking for. Please let me know what you think, because I mean, I'm all down for it. I mean, I'm going to cover it. Even, even if I have to open an OnlyFans account just to watch him and get the picture. I'll do it for you guys. Anyways. Once again, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and I'll see you later, beautiful people.